Okay, let us record this uh, this this session just for most of our friends, especially those ones who cannot make, who cannot attend the, when we are live, and then also those ones who are, for example, mostly for my friends who are in South Africa, they cannot attend, they are on road shedding. So let us record this session so that they can see it. My name is Harriet Nanon, I'm in Uganda. I'm a mother, I'm a mother, I'm a cryptocurrency trader, and I'm also a trainer, though I am also a teacher by profession. So I am here to take you through what we are going to learn today. Remember, I told you we are on we are in sessions of trading. We are looking at fundamentals of trading. Those things when you learn the basics of trading and you start practicing them with the help of the leaders that we are having in our team here and there, with the guidance that the leaders or and the trainers are, are giving out you will be somewhere you will be somewhere you who is on this zoom call i want to assure you that uh the, the the industry you have joined the industry where you are the industry that you want to take part is a very beautiful industry it is still growing the cryptocurrency uh the cryptocurrency the cryptocurrency industry is just growing. Just know that we are in the early stages of this industry and it is going to take over the whole world. So you are just on time. So learning how to trade these currencies before very many countries bring in, uh, bring in restrictions and then uh, rules and regulations about it, you are in the right time. And I want to assure you, you who is here today, Today is 2023. 2024 is going to be a very beautiful year for crypto. 2025 is going to be a very beautiful year for cryptocurrencies. So you who is learning how to trade by yourself as early as this, by the end of the year, you will be somewhere. Starting 2024, you will be an expert. You will be doing great things. And when the bull run comes, you are going to see a lot of change you are going to be you are going to see tremendous change in your life i welcome everyone on this zoom call thank you so much for attending and thank you so much for trusting me to be your trainer these days um sometimes um i disappoint you when 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 i'm when i'm caught up by traffic but all the same we are here for today uh, yesterday, we, we started looking at candlestick patterns, and I shared the candlestick Bible in the different groups, and I said the candlestick Bible is a very big book. It is the Bible for trading. It is a Bible for trading. It is a very big one with very many pages, but we are just going to pick a few things that we feel like they are the basics that we need. They are the basics that we need. Even when we are in the church, we don't read the whole Bible, even when it has very many books, the Old Testament and the New Testament. You may find that ever since you, have ever, ever since you went to church, there is a book which has never been read to you, but it is in the Bible. So the same way with the candlestick Bible, we are choosing only, we are choosing from, from it only those things that we feel like they are the basics that we need. And then after learning a few candle patterns, then we shall go to indicators. Indicators, as you hear the word indicators, they are signposts, they are things, they are signs that show you, that show you that if this does this, you can do this and you enter here a trade and then you end here and then you take your profit, get out of the trade with a profit. Allow me share my screen and then we see what we are to see today. Allow me, allow me, allow me share the screen and then we see what we are supposed to see today. Hoping that you are following me, hoping that you are following me. If you are following and then you are with me, please go to the chat room and then write for me a zero. If I am loud and clear, I know it is raining here. It is raining heavily. If you are following me and I am loud and clear, you can hear me very well. Please go to the chat room, write for me a zero. Write for me a zero, write for me a zero, like write for me a zero. If I am loud and clear, you can hear me very well. Write a zero, write a zero, write a zero, write a zero. I can see people writing the zero, people writing the zero. So which means I am loud and clear. Let us go. Let us go, let us go, let us go. We are already 20. That is a good number. Uh, that is a good number. That is a good number. Yesterday, we started looking at candle patterns and their 
the patterns that we looked at. I just want to do a recap. I just want to do a recap. Uh, where did I place them? I pressed them somewhere in a certain group, in a certain group, in a certain group here. And then we looked at um, candle patterns and then we started with the engulfing bar. We said that when you find two candles, two candles, maybe bullish or bearish, whereby there is a smaller candle with a smaller body being engulfed, being covered by a big candle, then it means that is a, that is a, um, uh, that is a what? Uh, that is an engulfing bar. An engulfing bar, it can be bearish, whereby the bearish candle or the red candle is the big one covering the small, the, covering the small bullish candle or covering the small big candle, meaning that now the sellers are, are, have gained momentum, which means the next thing which is going to happen, the market has to go down. As you can see here, as you can see, as you can see here, we saw this, we saw this. We saw this, there is this small candle and then this big candle, it, it engulfed the small candle. So that's why you see the next movement was the market went down. So when you find that those kind of candles or those kind of patterns in your charts, it means now the market is going to go down. And then when you find the bullish one, it means the red candle is the smaller one and the big one which is covering the smaller one is a green candle as you see here. As you see here, as you see, as you see here, as you see here, we have a red candle being covered by a big candle. So this is a bullish engulfing bar. So, and what happened next, we saw the market going up. We saw the market, we saw the market going up. The engulfing candle were here, it happened here. And then we saw the movement. We saw the movement, we saw the movement, the market went up. The market went up, that is an engulfing bar. That is an engulfing bar candle. That is an engulfing bar candle. Today, we are going to look at other patterns, other patterns, engulfing bar candles or engulfing, uh, engulfing pattern, uh, engulfing candle pattern can either mean that the market is going up or the market is going down. You must be conscious, you must be careful, or you must be you must be critical when you are looking at them. When you find that it is the red candle, which is small, and the big candle is green, just know that the market is going to go up. It means now the buyers are overtaking, they are covering up the sellers. So there are very many buying orders. So that's why the market is to go up. While when you find that the market is um, when when the when the when the red candle is bigger than the, the the red candle is bigger than the green candle and it is covering it, just know that now the market is going to go down. Today we are going to look at another thing. Let us look at this one. Let us look at this one. Um, uh, you can find different colors using the, to differentiate between bullish and bearish candlesticks. The filled part of the candlestick is called the real body and the thin line poking above and below the body are called the shadow Z. The top of the upper shadow is the high and the bottom of the lower shadow is the low. The candlestick Bible, I mean the candlestick body sizes doesn't matter for as long as you can see the different parts that I've talked about. Let us look at this example. When you look at um, when we look at these ones, when we look at these ones, we can see this one is small, this one is big, whereas this one is small and this one is big. But all of them, all of them are candles. All of them are candles and all of them, they have a meaning in a market. For as long as it is a candle, it has opening, it has closing, it has a wick, it has a body, or it has a shadow. That is a candle. Long bodies refer to strong buying or selling pressure. That is what you should know. You who is listening to me, we who is listening to me. When you find that the body of the candle is big enough, it is strong enough, like you see this one, it means that the selling pressure, there is a strong selling pressure, which means the sellers are dominating the market. They are so strong. There are a lot of big selling orders. So that's why you can see the body is big. 
And when you find that the body is small, it means that, yes, it is red. They are the sellers. They are the sellers which are taking over, but the pressure is, is reduced. It is not as strong as when you see a big body. And this one says, if there is a candlestick in which the clothes is above the open with the long body, this indicates that buyers are stronger and they are taking control over the market. We, shall, we are going to see those ones. Most of this information, I gave you the candlestick Bible, you will read them. So today I just wanted to show you that no matter the size of the candle, for as long as it is green, it's, it is representing buyers. If it is red, it is representing the sellers. The size of the candle can show you how strong, how strong the pressure for that kind of people in the market are. This, it can be strong pressure for buyers, or it can be strong buying pressure, or it can be strong selling pressure. It can also be weak buying pressure or, strong, or weak selling pressure. So many times when we look at such, it can help us to know whether I can enter into the market or not. You can find that the candles which are being formed, they are green. So it means they are the buyers buying pressure, but the candles are too small, meaning that the buying pressure is low. Yes, they are the buyers who are in the market. They are the ones who are a bit, a bit, a bit stronger. They are the ones which are having some energy, but the pressure is not as strong to make the candles too too big okay i need to have to look at the dodgy candlestick pattern the dodgy candlestick pattern the dodgy candlestick pattern is one of the most important japanese candlestick when this candle forms it tells us that the market opens and closes at the same price which means there is equality and indecision between buyers and sellers a dodgy a dodgy is that candlestick which is like a cross okay which is like a cross it is like this you find it and it is like this meaning the market opened here and then it closed here this is high it went and this is low it went so the place where it opened from it is the same place where it is where it closed from so that's why we call it a dodgy and it shows that the market, there is no decision. It, the market is in this side, in this, it hasn't decided. It has not, we don't know whether they are the buyers who are strong or the sellers, they are the ones who are strong. So there is no, there is equality. The pressure is all the same. The, the, that's why you just see it is just a cross like this. It's just a cross like this. The sellers are having the same pressure, the equal, equal pressure, and then the buyers are having equal pressure. So that's why we are just seeing a cross. So it is called a doji. And as you can see, the opening price is the same as the closing price. This signal means that the market didn't decide which direction will take. When this pattern occurs in the uptrend or a downtrend, it indicates that the market is likely to reverse. We are going to see these ones. When, when, when you find it in the downtrend and it is there, just know that the market is almost changing the direction to go up. Or when you find it when it is in the uptrend, it is in the uptrend and it has been formed, just know that the market is trying to decide the, it is almost going to change the direction, so it is going to go down. So always when you are looking at those charts, always look out for these, look out for these, these, these dodges, the, the candlesticks which are like a cross. We are going to see others. We have seen this one which is like a cross. We are going to see another one. We are going to see another one. Let us see another one. Let us see another one. Let us look at how it can look like. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. I have said that when you find a dodgy, when you find a dodgy that cross like something and it is formed at the top. Now look at this. Uh, the market was going up like this. Okay. The market was going up. It was an uptrend. And then this dodgy was formed. 
Meaning now the buyers are having equal pressure and even the sellers are having equal pressure. But the fact that it has been formed at the top of the trend, which is going up, it is a clear signal that we are going to go down. And then you see the market again went down. We are going to go to a live chat and then we find out these things and then we see them. Okay. okay. Uh, the market was moving from down this way. It was going up. It was in an uptrend. You can see the candles. They had big bodies. They say the buying pressure was there. It was strong. And at the end of it all, a dodgy was formed. A dodgy was formed. If you are in the market and you are having a trade running, just sell it, just close the trade and get out. Because what is going to happen next, the market has to go down. Because the dodgy has been formed. It is showing that the market has not yet decided. But for as long as the previous trend was going up, it means the trend is going to change. There is reverse of trend. So which means the next thing is to go down. If you have understood that one, please go to the chat room. Go to the chat room and give me a two. I mean, give me a one. We've started with a zero. Go to the chat room, give me a one. If you have understood that one. If you have understood that one, please give me a one. Give me a one so that we can continue. Give me a one. Give me a one. Give me a one. I can see Brava has given me, Manira has given me, Odong, Emmanuel has given me very many ones. Morris, such a thank you. And then Big Dream has given me a one. Edward has given me a one. And who else? Um, Daneso has also given me a one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me go back to my lesson. Let me go to my back to my lesson. We are looking at a dodgy candlestick, a dodgy candlestick. When, and this one says, the chart above shows how the market changed direction after the formation of the dodgy candlestick. Even if I don't read each and everything here, the candlestick Bible that I gave you, you will go and read and you are going to see that, okay? You are going to see it there. Now, before, before I continue to see another kind of a dodgy, let us go to a live chat and then we find out dodges, cross like things, candles which are like a cross. What does it mean? It means that the pressure, the buying pressure, uh, the buying pressure is equaling to the selling pressure. It means where the, this candle opened from, that's where it closed from. The pressure for buyers is equaling the pressure of the sellers. So that's why it is like this. The market is not decided. So if it has been formed at the top, just know that now the market is going to go down. If we find it being formed down this way in the downtrend, just know that the market is now going to change. We are going to go up. We are going to go up. That one, I think it is understood. Let me tell you, people, I got, I got, I got a concern. Someone was like, Madam Harriet, when you are teaching, you are too fast. You are too fast. Friends, let me ask, am I too fast? You first got the chat room and then you let me know. Am I too fast? So when you hear me going so fast, please go to the chat room or you can unmute yourself and then let me know that you are too fast. We are not following. I am a fast speaker. So please. Always let me know when I am too fast. Always let me know if I am too fast. So let me check in the chat room. Am I too fast, friends? Am I too fast? Am I too fast? Juliet says no. Uh, no, only you are breaking. Oh, it is raining, so my internet must be interrupted. Uh, Sarah says you are just breaking. So it is my internet because it is raining heavily here. It must be, it must be the one which is disturbing my internet. Odong says your speed is just too good. I am enjoying personally. <laughs> okay, Bravo says it is fast. It is fine. Uh, Danessa says no. Okay, so which means I am not so fast today because I know that is my biggest challenge. I am a fast speaker. I am a fast speaker. So I was saying, let us go to the chat room let us, I mean, let us go to a live chat and we find out, and we find out dodges. Let us find out a dodge, which is a cross like something. Let us find out a cross like. 
let us look out for a cross like, a cross like, a cross like. Let us go to the BTC. Let us look at the BTC. Let us look at the BTC. Let us look at the Bitcoin. 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 Let us look at the Bitcoin and its chart. Um, allow me close all the indicators, all the indicators. Let me make them invisible. Let me make them invisible. We should have a naked chart. Let's have a naked chart. Let's have a naked chart. And also allow me remove the support and resistance that we drew yesterday. And then I was showing you that the Bitcoin is just ranging until when it breaks that and we get a candle that will close either below, and let me put those lines back there. Let me put back those lines. They are going to guide us. They are going to guide us. Where I drew my support, ah, I want it black. I want it black. And then let me also put my my resistance, how do I draw a resistance? Just get two, three candles or two, three centers, places where the candles ended there, draw there those lines, okay? These are my candles. The Bitcoin is ranging according to my chart. It is ranging until when we get a candle that will close either below this line, then it will mean that we are going down. This, 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 this candle, the current candle, which is on, tried to go down, but again, it was pushed. So since it has not yet closed, so it has not, we are not going down. And until when we get a candle that will close above this line, then we shall know that now the, the Bitcoin is going up. When we get one which closes below this, it means we are, we shall, it will mean we are going down. Or when we get a candle that will close above this, we shall know that we are going up. But since we have not yet gotten that one, we are still in a ranging market. We are still in a ranging market. If the sideways, it is just there. The market is not decided. So where, what shows that the market has not yet decided? It is not, it is indecided. You just look at the candles. The friends, let us look at the candles which are being formed. Look at the candles. Look at the candles. Look at the candles. All of them are almost dodges. Look at the candles, all of them, the biggest percentage, they are dodges, okay? They are dodges, they are dodges, they are dodges, they are dodges, they are dodges. This is a, a, a harami, so we have not yet started about the harami. We are just looking for dodges, okay? We are just looking for, we are just looking for dodges. We are just looking for dodges. Friends, let us look at the dodges. Let us look at the dodges. Let us look at the dodges. Look at this one is a dodgy. This one is a dodgy. I look at this one is a dodgy. Okay. We have three dodges, uh, two dodges here. There is another one here. I can continue. We can see another one here. This one is a, another dodgy. This one is another dodgy. We can continue. We can continue, we can continue. See, see another dodge is here. In other words, we can't, the reason as to why the market is like this, it is not decided. So when we are in the uptrend, you are, you, it is rare to find these dodges when we are in an uptrend market. In an uptrend market, it is rare to find the dodges or oh, in a downtrend market, a downtrending market, it is rare to find those dodges, okay? But in a, in a, in a downtrend market, when, it, when the downtrend is ending, you are going to find the dodgy and then the next thing you will see the market going up. Look at this one, this is a dodgy. Uh, this is a dodgy, friends, this is a dodgy. My chat is disturbing. This is a dodgy. This is a dodgy. You see, 
uh, the market was coming from up this way and then a dodgy was formed. When a dodgy was formed, because now this was the open and this was the close, and then the, the this, this this candle had gone down this low, it had gone down this low, okay? It had gone down this low. I want to show you so that you see it critically well, okay? This candle opened from here, this was the open, This was the open, this was the open because it is a bearish candle. And then it went as low as this. Then the buyers pushed, it went up this way. And then, and then it was pushed by the sellers and then it closed from here. It opened, it went up, it came down, the buyers pushed it and then it ended here. So meaning the buyers had put in some pressure the buyers had put in some pressure. So, so that's why when you look at this one, when you look at the next candle, we saw a very strong movement, a very strong movement, a very strong movement. And then you can see a very big momentum candle, a very big momentum, a very big momentum candle. One candle formed there and another and formed then we can, we saw also, we saw, we see a pin bar. We are going also to look at what a pin bar is. When a pin bar was formed, it means now the sellers came in and then we saw the market going down. We saw the market coming down and then we saw another dodgy forming here. When the dodgy formed, then we saw some buy, the buyers put some energy here, though even the sellers were also important and then the market stayed ranging for some time. It ranged here. It ranged here, it was undecided until when this dodgy was formed. And then when you look at it, it's weak. The upper week is longer, meaning they are the sellers who pushed these prices to down. And then we can see a down movement, a down movement until when another penny bar was formed, okay? Okay, are we getting me? Are you getting me? Are you understanding what I am saying, friends? If you are not understanding what I am saying, please let me know. Mm -hmm. If you are understanding what I am saying, please let me know. Please let me know. If you are understanding what I am saying, let me know. My pencil has gotten lost. It has got lost. I can no longer see. See it, my pencil has got lost. My pencil has got lost now, I cannot change anything here. Anyone who understands, I please let me know what should I do? What should I do? Uh, just a minute, just a minute. I don't know what has happened. Let me just log out and then I'm coming back.
Okay, I am back. I am back, friends. I am back. Please, uh, someone make me host. Someone make me host. Lead out, Sama. Please make me host. I am back. I am back. I am back. I am back. My pen had gotten lost. There is no way how I could get it at except logging out. <laughs> Oh, where, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Did Osama make me host again? Let me call him. Allow me call him. Allow me call him. Let me call him. Let me call him. Let me more call him. Let me call him. Let me call him. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are back, we are back, we are back, we are back. Friends, we are back. And um, I'm sharing the screen so that we see something. Um, friends, after I have after I have I have shown you this, please. Uh, what I have showed you always when you go out, you go to your chats, okay? You go to your chats and find out what we have talked about. Just do a practice. Just do a practice. You go <clears throat> to your chats. Look at different currencies. <clears throat> look at different currencies, and then look at those things that we have talked about. Look at the dodges. Look at those can those stick like cross like things. Okay, those candles which are so tiny. They are so tiny, meaning that the market is not decided. The market is not decided. There's pressure for the buyers, and then the pressure for the sellers is almost the same. It's almost the same. Where are my chats? Okay. Um, let's go back to the Bitcoin. The Bitcoin. I was still explaining. We were looking at um, we were looking at the doji. We are looking at the doji. We are looking at the doji. Hey, what has happened? What is not happening? What is not happening? My trading view is getting off. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm still here. If you have a question, please put it in the chat room. I'll find it there. If you have a question, put it in the chat room. I'm going to find it there. I'm going to find it there. If you have a question, if you have a question, put it in the chat room. I'm going to find it there. Okay. Bitcoin, please come. Come, 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 come. Bitcoin, come. Okay, it is here. It is here. It is here. It is here. We were looking at what it has done this evening, and we can see. Um, it uh, the, the, the sellers, we are trying to push the market to go so low, and it went up to around, it went up to, uh, to 25 25,300 uh, 25, something. And now the buyers are pushing it. They are pushing it. And when it was starting, remember, it was it, it went up to high. This one and it has gone. So follow this way. And now the buyers are pushing. The buyers are pushing. So that's why we are seeing the candle is green. And I have said that until when we get a candle, that will close either below this line that I drew that will symbolize, that will signal us that the market is going down. Or when we get a, a candle that will close above this line that, that, that I, have, I have drawn the resistance, then we shall know that the market is going up. And before that is done, we are still, we are still ranging. We are still ranging. We are still ranging. We have seen the doji. We have seen the doji. The doji candlestick, and we have seen it in the, in the Bitcoin, can, uh, Bitcoin chart. Let us look at another. Let us look at another. Let us look at another, another pattern. We have seen the doji. Let us look at another, another pattern. Where did I? I kept them here. 
I kept them here. I kept them here. I kept them here. I kept them here. The dodgy and decided market. All even it symbolizes if it was an uptrend, then it means the trend is going to change. Then we have this kind of, we have this dodgy. We have this dodgy. This dodgy, it is called the dragon dodgy pattern. The dragon dodgy or the dragon fly. The dragon fly, this one, uh, it looks like a dragon fly. If you know that fly, which is like a dragon. And this one says the dragon, the dragon fly dodgy is a bullish candlestick pattern, which is formed when they open high and the clothes are the same or about the same price. What characterizes the dragon dodgy, the dragonfly dodgy is the long lower tail that shows the resistance of the buyers and their attempt to push the market up. We can see this, friends. We can look at this. We can see this. We can look at this. Let us look at this. When you look at this thing, the opening is here and the close is there. And the close and the open are at the high. The highest that the, this market went when this candle was, was, was forming, the highest it went, it was at the opening and it is the closing. That's why we call it a dragonfly. That is, why, that is why we call it a dragonfly and it is always having a long lower tail. It is always having a long lower tail. And the illustration above shows that the perfect dragon, it shows us a perfect a perfect dragonfly dodgy. The long lower tail suggests that the forces of supply and demand are nearing a balance and that the direction of the trend may be nearing a major turning point. If a, dragon, a dragonfly dodgy is formed and it is bullish and it is green, just know that now the market is going to change and most times it, it this one most times it is formed at the end of the of the down trend while the bearish one it is formed at the end when the uptrend is ending let us see it in the next illustration look at look at this look at this friends look at this the dragonfly the dragonfly dragonfly doji you can see it here you can see it here let, let me let me let me zoom let me zoom let me zoom let me zoom this and then we see you can see it the the, the one it it was formed it was a bearish one it was formed at the end it was formed at the end of the of the down trend okay the market was going down we see some dodges here there is a dodgy here there is a dodgy here there is a dodgy here this one it and then the market went down this one was formed at when the uptrend the previous trend was up uptrend and then this one symbolized the end of the uptrend and then the downtrend started the downtrend started we saw a dodgy here though the sellers we are also still making it hard now here 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 when you see the dra this dragonfly you see we, because the, the because we are seeing a long week which is down here it means the buyers pushed the trade pushed the market and then the the this candle closed when the buyers were the ones dominating so that's why we are seeing a movement upwards this way the market went up why the buyers became so strong in this chart okay in this market or in this movement and then this one says in the chart above, the market was testing the previous support level. So those ones, we are going also to see them. Uh, tomorrow, we are going to start comparing the candle pattern, the candlestick patterns vis-a-vis -vis the support and resistance. Vis-a-vis -vis the support and resistance, then we shall know when do I enter the market? If I have looked at the candlestick pattern, I have my support and I have my resistance. And then it is tested the second time. This one, we are going to look at it tomorrow. Tomorrow. So don't miss tomorrow's class. So, and this one again is the formation of the dragonfly doji with the long lower tail shows that shows us that there is a high buying pressure in the area. If you can identify this candlestick pattern on your chart, it will help you vis visually 
see when the support and demand are located. When it occurs in a downtrend, it is interpreted as bullish reversal signal. So when you find it down here, in the up down trend, just know that the, the trend is going to reverse. Now we are going to go up and then you saw it here. But as I always say, you can't trade the candlestick pattern alone. You will need other indicators and tools to determine a high probability high probability dragonfly dodgy signals in the market. So that's why I've said tomorrow we are going to look at candlestick patterns with support and resistance. So, and then we shall be looking at those two. We are going to become comparing those two, the candlestick patterns with our indicate, with our support and resistance lines. Then we find out a trend. I am continuing. I am continuing. I am continuing. I am continuing. I am. I am continuing, I am continuing, I am continuing. Then we have also this, we have this one which is called the gravestone doji. Remember we are looking at dojis. We looked at the doji which is just a cross. Then we have looked at another doji which is called a dragonfly doji. It has a long wick the, from down. Then the one which is having a long wick from up it is called the gravestone doji. Let us get the difference. Let us get the difference. This one, the dragonfly, the dragonfly, the wick is lower. The long wick is below, meaning the buyers are taking over. While when the sellers are the ones taking over, that one is called the, grove, the gravestone doji. The gravestone doji is the bearish version of the dragonfly doji. It is formed when they open and they close at the same or about the same price. And they are supposed to be at the low of that candle. The diff uh, what differentiates the gravestone doji from a dragonfly doji is the long upper tail. The dragonfly, the tail is low. While the gravestone, the, the tail is up, is up. The formation of the long upper tail is an indication that the market is testing a supply or resistance area. So which means now the market can no longer go up anymore. The, the sellers are going to push it down. And every time you see it, just know that now we are going down. We are going we are going down. We are going down. Let us see it in this one. Let us see it. And then this one says, the chart above shows the gravestone doji at the top of an uptrend after a period of strong bullish activity. And what happened next? The market had to slope down. You can see it. Okay. You can see it. You can see it. You can see it. The previous trend was an uptrend, though we are seeing it has some doji here. There is another doji there. You, you see, we are having three dojis here. If you were in a trade and then you started from here, you will just know that uh, uh, now the market is losing momentum. The market is, I get out of the trade. You get out of the trade. You don't waste time. You get out of the trade because the more you stay there, the market will fall down with you. Now, what happened here? This one made the climax of the uptrend and then a gravestone dodgy was formed with an upper long tail. And what happened next? The market dropped down. The market dropped. The market dropped down. Though this were down here, we are seeing an engulfing bar. An engulfing bar. The bear, the, the bullish candle is engulfing the bearish candle. So which means up when it, the market entered here, most probably now the market was changing, the, it was reversing and then it was going up. But for now, we are looking at the gravestone doji. The gravestone doji. And then this one says, this is interpreted as a, high, a sign that bulls are losing their momentum and the market is ready for a reversal. Okay. And the market is ready for a reversal. So we see the reversal. Of course, it happened. The reversal happened. At first, it was an uptrend. Now, this one happened. It was, uh, it was showing the climax and then the market the trend reversed and then we went into a downtrend 
Mm. We went into a downy trend. We went into a downy trend bucket. Ladies and gentlemen, have we understood the dragon? Have we understood the dodges? Have we understood the, do the dodges? You go to the chat room and then let me know if you have understood the dodges and then I can as well see whether we can continue or we can end here. I am seeing some messages in there. I am seeing some messages in the chat room. It is already 10. Madam Harriet, when you analyze a trade, let's say in four hours time frame, and the market goes against you, and the market goes against you for some days, do you again put new indicators or draw new support and resistance after every four hours, or you continue with the first analysis? Um, Sarah, if you see you have entered a trade and then the market goes against you and where you had put your support, it has been broken and now the bucket has gone below it, then your support is going to become your resistance. Then you go down below and draw another support. So you will be able to know that if my, my, if my for example, let me write it here. Let me write it here. Let me draw it here. Uh, you had your resistance here, and then this was your resistance, and this was your support. And then the market, you expected the market, uh, it market the candles moved and then moved and then moved. And then before you took, uh, you took, before you took, uh, before you took profit, and then the market moves. And then it moves and then this one closes below and then it keeps going and then it keeps on going. So the moment it does this one, so the market has, has gone against you here. The can, this candle has closed below your support. Then this one ceases being a support line. It becomes a resistance. Then you go in the, in the, in the history of your charts behind find a new place where you can draw another support line. Then this one, be, let it become your support. So just know that where you have redrawn your support, it moves. It means if it moves from here, and then most probably it is going to reverse from here to net make another move, okay? It is going to reverse around here and then it will change the move. So that's what you can as well do. If you see that you had put in a trade, it has not reached where you want to take the profit from, and then it goes against you. If it closes below where your support line is, then that one becomes a resistance, and then you go down deeper and draw another support line. Hoping, Sarah, I have, I have, I have, I have answered you. So hope I have answered you. And then yes, Isaac I says, can I get access yes, to that PDF? <laughs> yes, Madam Sarah. I'm saying thank you. I've understood. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome, Sarah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I am I am Isaac. Isaac. Uh, Isaac says, can I get can I get access to that PDF you are using to present? I shared it in the Game Changers group, unless if you are not on the Game Changers group. I shared it there. And then my group for my friends from South Africa and then Botswana and then Mozambique, I also shared it there. And uh, unless if you are not on the Game Changers group, then you let us know and then we we'll see how we can as well help you. I, I says, I mean the Candlestick Trading Bible candlestick trading bible i shared it in the game changers if you are not there then you let us know odong odong emmanuel says yes understood juliet says yes understood such morris says yes understood it means people have understood the dodgy the dodgy candlestick pattern so if you have understood the dodgy candlestick pattern we need to end here i don't want to give too much then tomorrow is another day we shall see something else tomorrow we are going to look at how to use the engulfing bar candlestick and then the doji to put in a trade with the with the support and resistance we are going to look at support and resistance with the engulfing candle and then the doji to put in a trade so before we go to another candlestick pattern and then another indicator we shall first look at this one so far that we have studied about 
how do we use them to put in a trade? By the end of this week, you will be able to put in a trade by yourself and then you trade and you trade. You make a profit. You make a 2%, no matter the, the capital you have put in, but you put in a trade and then you trade and you make a profit for yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, can we end here? I want to appreciate whoever has attended this Zoom call. Uh, I am Harriet Nanon, I'm in Uganda. I am, I am a passionate cryptocurrency trader. I am so excited about this industry. Very, very excited. You people, they are, uh, why am I saying that I am very, very excited? Soon after we have looked at some indicators, I'll tell you about Binance and why everyone has to learn how to trade on Binance. Those ones who are using the Royal Q application, you are already on the right track. You are already on the right track. And I see most of you are here. You are using the Royal Q application, the Royal Q robot to trade. We are on the right track. We are on the right track because something big is coming. Something big is coming. Something big is coming in the crypto space, I'm telling you. I am telling you. Yes, and I was telling people the next coin to look out for is XRP. Is XRP. 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 You people get ready for a big boom. For a big boom for XRP. For those ones who know how to hold, you can buy the XRP. Keep it for the for the entire time which has which is left for this year and the whole of next year. You will thank me. You will thank me. You will thank me. The way you have seen, you have we have been seeing uh, Acro doing what it did the whole of last month. By the way, last month uh, Acro did around 200 percent. Let us look at it. Let us look at it. That is the last thing I'm going to to, to end with. Uh, Acro. Someone was saying today, now Acro is misbehaving. No, it is not misbehaving. It did its work. People bought and bought and bought and bought. Now people have, the market is over-circulated. It has to first go down first. It has to go down first, then we shall come back. Let us look at last month. Last month, last month, last month, last month. What did the acro do? What did the acro do? The percentage that it moved. The all-time high for Acro, it is 0 0.09, okay? Which means we are still moving. We haven't reached, it is 0 0.08, 0 0.08. That is its all-time high. That is the highest it has ever gone. Now let's look at, let us look at what it did last month. This is, I am looking at the one month candlestick. Let us look at what it did last month. Last month, last month, Acro. People made a lot of money. We made a lot of money in the Acro last month. The month started from here and then it went up to here. One month, one month, one month, one month. Acro went up 291%. 291 percent, 291%, 291%, 291%. Bravo. Let me tell you, if you had put money in Acro, okay? If you had put money in Acro, okay? Acro, Acro, if you had put there your $100, and it went up by 291%. It went up um, 291% times your $100. You will have made $291. You will have made $291 meaning plus your 100, you'll have ended the month with $391. Okay? 291 times your $100. No, no, no. Yes. 
291% times my $100. Yes, you'll have made this. Because 100% was, 100% was uh, $100. $200, that is 200%, um, $200. So 291, so you will have made 291 plus your 100, you'll be having $391. Now, what if someone had $1,000? Someone who had $1,000 and traded the Acro the whole of last month and then never went out, he made around $2,910. What of someone who had $10,000? Someone made $29,000 like that. As simple as that. Simple calculation. Simple. Simple calculation. Simple calculation. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me end here and then let us meet again tomorrow. I can't thank you enough for attending. Tomorrow is another big day. Tomorrow is another big day to study about our trading. Thank you, Madam Harriet, very much. Someday I will be an expert too, surely. Of course you will. Of course you will. Of course you will. I'm telling you, you will. You will be, you will be for as long as you are still attending these trainings and then whatever we learn, you go out and practice it. After practicing it, you'll become an expert. Have a good night. May God bless you. See you then. Good night.